Hi everyone, in this video I'm showing you a periapical radiograph of a patient who sustained facial trauma at the age of 6. You can clearly see that portion of the crown of number 8 is restored as well as number 9 along with several cl class 3 lesions. Okay. What I want you to pay close attention to is the overall size of the purple chamber, purple space. How does the size of number 8 compare to number 9? It should be clear to you that this one is much wider and much bigger, right? And what would be your explanation for that? Why does one look much bigger than the other. One possible explanation may be that this canal was over instrumented, right? That's certainly possible, but highly unlikely. If that was the case, uh, it's just very unfortunate, right? But uh, I think the key here is that the patient uh, had a root canal therapy at the age of six. So remember overall the development of a tooth at the age of six. At that point, the tooth may have uh, may have been erupting or may have just fully erupted. Obviously, depending on the eruption status of that patient. And what about the overall size of the chamber and the d dentinal development? Do you think it would have had a very large purple chamber or small? And if you answer the large, that is absolutely correct. So this most likely represents the size of the pulpal chamber at the time of the initial root canal therapy at the age of the six. And that is why this canal is large and the dentin stopped layering down additional layers due to the root canal therapy. The interesting clinical history in this case is that about two to three years ago, patient was retreated so this is a radiograph taken after retreatment, a as a matter of fact, just f uh, last week. And um, obviously the question that I have for myself is why does this area look entirely radiolucent? Was this gutta percha material that was uh, removed and what? why does this area uh, radiolucent? It may be that there is a, a radiolucent material right or it could be highly unlikely however that this could be entirely empty or void which I don't think that's what happened if it was treated by an endodontist I, I can't think of a, a clinical implication a reason as to why he or she may have uh, left this area uh, void but uh, that's pretty interesting and um, yeah that's it for me I think the key point that I want you to take away from this is if you end up doing recanal therapy while the tooth is still developing, you are going to have a very large uh, purple chamber. Just compare that to tooth number uh, 9. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you in the next video.